Miles, first of all, just if you look on results and performances over the last couple of weeks, how do you reflect on those? Yeah, I mean, if looking from the outside, it looks bad in terms of six straight losses. Um, from an internal point of view, we're all happy. Development's going well. Players are playing OK. Performances are good. If we look at recent weeks, Geisley, for example, um, we should have come away with a, a win, in my opinion. Um, looking back to Chester most recently, again, probably should have won it. Um, so, yes, we look, we're disappointed. The players are disappointed that they're not getting three points or, or getting even one point. But actually, the lads are developing at a good rate um, and, and they're getting opportunities to impress not only myself, but uh, the first team management staff as well. Um, and we've seen that in recent weeks with um, the likes of Mellis getting called up on the National League bench. Um, Tom Alsop, he's also been in and around the first team environment. So, yeah, like I said, um, Results probably not the best, but performances can't criticise them. Their work ethic, the way they train is, is unbelievable at times. You touch on that, the results, clearly it's a football and education programme, not all about winning games, but if you look at somebody like Mellis, got his opportunity, what would you say to the other lads uh, looking at him and thinking, wow, that, that could be me one day? No, 100%. I mean, to become a footballer, uh, you have to be a good person and certainly something we've tried to develop over the last eight months since I've come in is um, be a better person, become a better player. Um, but the, the thing with Mellis, and Mellis isn't the only one, there are loads of individuals that um, are, are just giving 110% in the classroom as well, um, being a nice person, they, they greet people as they walk in. Um, and if, if you start to do that more frequently, you get the opportunities, you get opportunities to go, like I said, train with the first team or, or go and play in the Birmingham Senior Cup or if you're lucky enough, get get on a National League bench, which is unbelievable for a 16, 17, 18 year old at this age in the National League. So um, education's key for me. The, the boys have to be going to the classroom. They have to be doing their studies. They have to be working with their tutors, their teachers to, to make sure they get good grades as well. Because as you know, as everyone knows, um, football career is a short one. Um, and and they need to make sure that if anything does happen to them, touch wood, it doesn't. But they've got something to fall back on, whether it's an injury, and they they go into coaching, psychology, analysis, medical work, whatever it is. We're trying to build a platform for them and uh, give them a better pathway. If if football doesn't work out for them, I think statistically it's 0.023 percent or something 0.021 percent that make it as a professional footballer. So like I said, we're trying to give other pathways for the lads. Um, and, and the lads need to be doing their education to make sure they are doing it properly. Style of play, we, we, we try and teach them loads of other things. So um, we, we like to play a, uh, attacking football, nice attractive football, uh, as many football and education programmes and academies do. Um, the difference is many non-league teams and national league teams, first teams, play a different style of football, maybe more direct, maybe playing around into channels, etc. So we've got to try and balance it out. Um, someone like Mellis, for example, um, he, he plays a different way to what he would when he goes in with Quinny and Gaz and, and the rest of the first team staff. So, um, yeah, we, we just got to try and teach and, and, and recognise a balance of what certain systems and formations to play. And it's a good time to touch upon trials coming up February. Yep. Not long till you uh, look at the next generation of talent there. Yeah, we've got trials coming up in February. Our first set of trials were in um, October, November time. So we, we've already got a group of players we're looking at. So we've invited them back for a, a second set of trials. And then, um, like I said, February, like you've said, um, we'll, we'll have a look at some better players, um, some more players. And um, I, I, I'm looking forward to it because now is the time where many academies uh, re retain and release players. So we'll, we'll have an understanding of what sort of quality we're bringing in next year. Um, but like I said, going back to your education point, we're not just looking for superstars or heroes or world-class footballers. We want really good people as well. So within that trials, we, me and the other coaching staff, we will work extensively to try and find out what sort of person that is, that that person is, um, in terms of will they do their education, will they turn up on time, do they greet people as they come in, um, and just have more of a holistic approach to, to that whole person instead of can they kick a football, can they score goals, etc. And I know it's certainly something that the, the chairman here and the rest of the football club are really keen to develop better people, better players. So, yeah, looking forward to it. And of course, there's a core staff behind yourself as well. Just talk us through their roles and uh, what they're, a good job they're doing as well. Ah, they're brilliant. They're brilliant staff. Um, at the start of the summer, we recruited new staff. The old staff were brilliant as well. 
um, and have played a massive part in terms of the um, development of the individuals that were already here. But these new staff that have come in, Corey, Dan, Paul, etc., um, Aunt Hasker as well, Claire Hasker, I can only be uh, really appreciative of the work they do, not only for myself, but for the boys and, and for the people on the programme. Um, Dan, Corey, both assistants, really want to learn, are keen to uh, inspire the individuals, but also continue their journey as coaches. And, and Paul's a really, really um, extensively knowledge coach with a, a real head of wisdom that actually, quite honestly, I've learned from as well. Um, and it's great to to have those people in your uh, vicinity that, that can not only help you as an individual and help me and Corey and Dan, but help the individuals on the uh, the, the pitch as well. Um, so really knowledgeable, really wise, and I can only be appreciative of what we've got and hopefully they stay for us for a long time. So, Just finally, between now and the end of the season, what is success for you? Well, we've had 10, 11 players in and around the first team squad in terms of Birmingham Senior Cup, in terms of training, in terms of uh, first team events or fixtures, whatever it might be. So from a football point of view, we want to try and get as many people into the first team and see if we can make that list even bigger. Um, the lads will, will do that themselves in terms of making sure they're doing the education, making sure they're attending and the opportunities will present themselves. Um, from an education point of view, not everyone's going to be retained, not everyone's going to um, be part of the football club in the future. However, what we want to do and something that I want to do personally is make sure these people that do leave us are still part of our family and uh, make sure they go off and do other things. I know there's um, 20, or 20 or so players that won't be here next year, but they've been given university offers at Bath, Southampton, uh, University of um, Northumbria, Newcastle, Derby, etc. So really good universities. So for me, I'm really proud that we, we've given the qualifications and we've given the education and the life skills to these individuals that can go off and, and take a different pathway, many of which will still be involved in sport and you never know, might be back here in 12, 18 months time as a, a football coach or an intern medic or whatever it is. So that's success for me, trying to uh, maintain the style of play, maintain the the number of people going into the first team, but also looking at pathways for other people.